Wisdom because he's opening with 3.4. So I think it's a bit of a gamble because that's his, uh, well, third highest tariff dive, but works for him. Back to 3.0, so slightly different dive we'll look at from the 20-year-old Scotsman from Edinburgh, James Heatley. Very yeah. good on the uh, synchro yesterday. This is his individual first dive in the final. Back, two and a half somersaults. Oh, a slightly, very, very slightly over rotated there, unfortunately, from James. But what I was saying earlier is how good James's pickup into the pike position is. It's, it's really something to behold. It's, it's an amazing skill that he's got, and he goes so quick up into that pike shape. It's just carried over it's very, very slightly. James Heatley. Forward three and a half for him. So he starts fairly low key. 3.0, 3.1, 3.0, then ramps it up. 3.5. This is his second round dive for the Irish, uh, for the uh, Scotsman. Oh, looks like he's almost a bit too pumped, really. He's making that dive so easily. He's having to come out and he's flying out of it in the straight position, trying to make sure that he doesn't go over. And the judges have marked that very well. Sevens across the board. Um, absolutely impeccable. Now, ah, James Heatley, no pressure, no pressure, of course. Reverse two and a half, and so he eases his way into the competition, does his bigger dives later. Very interesting trunks. Do you want <laughs> If you make me dive like that, then sure. <laughs> now, that's a beautiful dive from James there. It's uh, slightly twisted on the end, very, very slightly. We're talking only a couple of degrees here, but that pick up into that pipe shape was just beautiful. Really, really nice. 66 is how we, James Heatley, starts to really get into the, what I call the meat of his program here. 3.0, 3.1, 3.0. Now, looks like he pushes the go button. 3.5, reverse, one and a half, somersault, three and a half twist. You've seen this before. Very nice dive. Um, he's a little bit skipped off the board there. You can see that he's cut his height off slightly. I think that James could normally go higher than that. Um, but James is extremely good at knowing where the twists are. Um, he's a great twister and just a very pretty diver to watch as well. Very very nice finish, just that little bit too... Him in third. James Heatley does not have that in his repertoire as yet. Maybe he's working on it. Maybe it's a work in progress, but he's more comfortable going with the inward three and a half somersaults. Finishes his programme with two 3.4s. So they've got to be good for the challenge. Eighth place after the last round. He's better than that. Ah, he's worked out really well. Yeah, James is having a bit of a, not a tough day, but not quite a good a day at the office as maybe he was hoping for. Um, but he's worked really well on that because that was slightly sat back on the start, a little bit low, but he's kicked out in a perfect position. Jack will be the British champion. Now James Heatley got to finish off. Fairly disappointing day for him. Forward two and a half with two twists to conclude. What a lovely way to finish this competition from James. Christus is so perfect. 81 points on the final dive is very good from James. And a few more uh, small mistakes, but a really good overall performance. No massive drops at all. So the one, two, three is Oliver Dingley, Jack Haslam and Ross Haslam. The brackets indicate overseas diver. So if we're looking from a British point of view, the Haslam boys one and two and James Heatley in third.